In this video, we're overclocking the Intel Core i9-12900K up to 5.5 gigahertz in five minutes or less using the Gigabyte Z690 Aorus Master motherboard. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some comments and notes along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only. Please don't just outright copy these settings and apply them to your system. If you want to learn how to overclock this kind of a system, please check out the full length Scatterbencher overclocking guide. All right, we have a lot to cover, so let's get into it. When you've entered the BIOS, enter the advanced mode and stay in the tweaker menu. Set enhanced multi-core performance to disabled. Enter the advanced CPU settings submenu. Set active turbo ratios to manual. Here's where we will set up our dynamic overclock where two P cores will boost to 5.5 gigahertz all P cores will boost to 5.2 GHz and all E cores will boost to 4 GHz. Set turbo ratio 1 P core active and 2 P core active to 55. Set turbo ratio 3 P core active to 54. Set turbo ratio 4 P core active to 53. Set turbo ratio 5 P core active, 6 P core active, 7 P core active and 8 P core active to 52. Set turbo ratio for 1 to 8 E core active to 40. Leave the advanced settings submenu. Set extreme memory profile XMP to profile 3. This will load the most aggressive of the three XMP profiles on my DDR5 memory sticks. Set V core voltage mode to adaptive V core. Adaptive voltage mode enables a dynamic CPU voltage that will scale according to the set CPU frequency. This matches with our active turbo ratio configuration. Set VF offset mode to selection. This opens up the advanced voltage offset options, which allow us to modify the voltage of specific points on the CPU VF curve. Set VF.6 offset to minus 0.025 volt. This reduces the voltage for 48X ratio by 25 millivolt. Set VF.11 offset to plus 0.075 volt. This increases the voltage for the 55X ratio by 75 millivolt over the default adaptive voltage from 1.32 volt to 1.40 volt. Then save and exit the BIOS. To make sure everything is working as intended, we rerun some benchmarks and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all are higher. When running Prime95 small FFTs with AVX enabled, the average CPU P core clock is 4,918 MHz, an average CPU E core clock is 3,996 MHz with 1.197 volts. The average CPU temperature is 99 degrees Celsius and the average CPU package power is 303 watts. When running Prime95 small FFTs with AVX disabled, the average CPU P core clock is 5,151 MHz and average CPU E core clock is 4,000 MHz with 1.281 volts. The average CPU temperature is 99 degrees Celsius and the average CPU package power is 311.8 watts. The highest core clock reported in the operating system is 5,500 megahertz. And that's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.